At the Center for Postnormal Policy and Future Studies, we are attempting to pioneer the concept of postnormal times. In 2010, uh, Zia Sardar published a paper, Welcome to Postnormal Times, that outlines a framework for thinking through where we are today. And essentially, postnormal times is about trying to make sense of the complexities, the contradictions, and ultimately the chaos of our historical moment. Now, the first C of postnormal times, complexity, has to do with the fact that we obviously live in a complex world, and all complex adaptive systems have a variety of feedback loops, inputs, outputs, they go undergo phase transitions, and so from our perspective, uh, complexity is the first and most important C in that we need to think through the complexity of the world around us and the complexity of the problems, which means, fundamentally, there are no longer any simple solutions. Most problems uh, require complex uh, solutions, complex uh, sort of responses that allow us to ultimately get in there and see the kinds of feedback loops, uh, positive feedback can emerge, and how we make sense of that. Now, one of the most important results of complexity is we end up in a world with lots of contradictions. An easiest place to see those contradictions would be to look at the 2008 economic crises or the ongoing economic crises, which we just call the global economy. Which is to say that there's a stark contrast between the notion that the system itself has ultimately uh, included some degree of chaos within it. Now, we know that inequality is at an all-time high. Recent reports have been released showing how the richest 85 people in the world own as much wealth as the bottom three and a half billion. Uh, we know that capitalism externalizes cost. So for us, looking at the contradictions is a way of elucidating and ultimately getting at what are some of the main challenges and problems of life in post-normal times. And I've already alluded to the last C, which is chaos. And chaos is the notion that whether it's economic, whether it's social, whether it's political, and we've certainly seen uh, all three examples over the last few years, uh, that chaos, which not necessarily means collapse, but ultimately uh, a system that is in disarray. And chaos can come in all sorts of scales. So for us, post-normal times is about making sense of complexity, contradictions, and chaos, and ultimately using those lenses to help create more robust, more dynamic images of the future, but also images of the extended present and what we also call the unthought futures which is always a space of questioning, always a space of learning and engagement, and it's a space that we have to think about ethically how we engage with a diverse range of voices.